address what is site analysis. So we all want to get to the part of designing, coming up with that great idea, that great design. But there's a lot of research that goes before even, uh, oh, that can help to create that great design. One of those things is site analysis. So site has to do with where are you going to be designing? What is the location of this uh, design that you will be creating? Is it in a rural area? Is it more urban? Is it near the beach? What is the context of what's being surrounded? What's the location, the city, the temperature? There's a lot of things to uh, understand before you make decisions uh, as to what you're going to be designing. So some of those things uh, cannot be compiled in what we call site analysis. So some of those things could be understanding the vegetation. What is the vegetation around the site? Uh, what type of vegetation? What is the existing vegetation? What is the vegetation that could probably be brought in? And so on, right? So you can sort of explore that. Major roads uh, and circulation. So may perhaps you're not just near major road. Maybe you're near bike um, trails. Maybe you're near walking trails. Maybe you're near airports. Maybe it's this is for a business. So you want to sort of know how are people moving in this place um, to maybe get a, a better turnout for people visiting your place, right? What are the buildings surrounding it? Is it, are there schools or is it more residential? Trying to understand the surrounding buildings. And we also get to explore sort of um, not only the nearby buildings, but nearby also facilities and other things that could help or have an influence. Right? Because of that, because it is a site, it's also surrounded with noise. So perhaps you, what if you're designing some library or uh, areas that need to be more quiet and so on, you want to identify key points where there might be more noise. There's also studies to understand the topography, is it flat, is it sloping, the type of soil and so on. We also get to explore uh, the sun and its, and its climate. And so depending, the site will not change, but what you can change is where you position your building. So perhaps you want to have more, allow for more natural lighting. So then you need to understand from which direction the sun is moving and which points are going and how to maximize light to come in, or maybe you don't want a lot of light. So then you position your building in a way that light will not come in as much, right? So you sort of, uh, the site will not change. What changes is our design. And so gathering all this information can help us make the best decision. Another thing we can sort of explore is wind, knowing how wind moves, right? So we got all these different things, and there will be other videos that explain some of these different things. But at the end of the day, your site analysis should look something like this. Having exploration of all the different things and putting everything together and hopefully making a, a decision that will influence your design. Here are some site analysis symbols that can help. Like I mentioned, wind. It's also going to be important to always put your north sign because, uh, again, this is going to help us position the, 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 the site, you know, where east and west and the sun is coming from. We can also identify noise, type of vegetation viewpoints so if, if uh, we have to have one have clear views uh, is there anything creating some obstructions some vehicle pedestrians or public access so having these different types of symbols can really help identify it better so uh, these symbols could sort of vary uh, but they all sort of have the same uh, understanding and so at the end you'll have something like this that could be there's different ways of representing it I did show you in a more plan view, uh, but it could also be done in other ways of uh, diagrams to explain your your analysis. This, uh, this sort of a graphical rep uh, representation of what we were talking about: the sun movement, the wind, space distribution, and so on. So the first thing you needed to know is what is the site analysis, and it's going to help you make decisions as to your design. So it's a very key important part of the design process.